Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the end times or the second coming of Jesus? Perhaps you found yourself captivated by the prophetic signs and symbols embedded in the final book of the Bible, the Revelation of John. Today, we delve into these prophecies, taking them in the order they appear, and explore their profound implications. Our journey begins with the seven letters to the seven churches. These letters, dictated by Jesus himself to John, serve as a spiritual barometer, measuring the strengths and weaknesses of the early Christian communities. They also provide timeless advice and warnings to all future. Next, we encounter the vision of the seven seals. Each seal represents a period of tribulation. The opening of the first four seals reveal the four horsemen of the apocalypse, each symbolizing different calamities and trials. The fifth and sixth seals bring about the martyrs and cosmic disturbances, while the seventh seal introduces the seven trumpets. The seven trumpets, in turn, herald more specific judgments upon the earth. With each trumpet blast, a new disaster unfolds, from burning hail to a star named Wormwood making waters bitter, to darkness covering a third of the sun, moon and stars. In the midst of these calamities, John sees a scroll in the hand of an angel. This scroll, only to be opened by the Lion of the tribe of Judah, contains the final judgments of God. It is here that we encounter the seven bowls of God's wrath, each containing a plague that is poured out upon the earth. Following these judgments, John describes the fall of Babylon, the beast, and the false prophet. These symbolize the collapse of worldly systems and false religions before the second coming of Jesus. Then, the second coming of Jesus is depicted. He arrives as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, bringing an end to the tribulations and establishing a millennium of peace. Finally, John describes the new heaven and the new earth, where God will dwell with his people in a world free from sin, death, and sorrow. To summarize, we've journeyed through the prophetic landscape of Revelation, starting with the seven letters to the churches, followed by the seven seals, the seven trumpets, and the scroll with seven bowls of God's wrath. We witnessed the fall of Babylon, the beast, and the false prophet, and looked forward to the second coming of Jesus and the establishment of a new heaven and a new earth. These prophecies, though filled with symbolism and imagery, carry a profound message. They remind us of the trials and tribulations that will come, but also of the ultimate victory of Jesus and the promise of a new world. So as we navigate our own paths, let us remember these prophecies not with fear, but with hope. For they point not only to an end, but to a new beginning, a time of peace, and the triumphant return of Jesus.